Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry married at Windsor Castle in 2018, two years before their controversial move to step down as senior royals and moved to the U.S. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex quit the royal family in March 2020, a move dubbed Megxit. Now a friend of King Charles III and Queen Camilla has claimed the Duchess found royal life may not have been as grand as she thought it would be. Commenting on the Duchess in the Times magazine, Lady Anne Glenconner said the couple had a wonderful wedding, but then life went back to normal. She said, I feel that probably the sort of things the royal family have to do, they're just not very interesting. You're not driven around in a golden coach. One's own wedding was fantastic, but the next day you're back to normal. I don't know whether she thought it was going to be all very grand. On the other side, Lady Susan Hussey has predicted that the relationship between Prince Harry and Meghan Markle would end in tears. Royal biographer Tom Bauer has claimed. The Baroness Hussey of North Bradley, a longtime lady-in-waiting to the late Queen Elizabeth II, said it before the couple's 2018 wedding. Lady Susan Hussey, a godmother of Prince William, allegedly said it while out to dinner with a few theater executives. Bauer is the author of Revenge, Meghan, Harry, and the War Between the Windsors. Hussey suddenly took the future of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex seriously while discussing how Meghan might become associated with the National Theatre after the wedding, the Daily Express reported. She is claimed to have said, that will all end in tears. Mark my words. But as Meghan was regarded by Harry's friends as lacking a sense of humor, they exchanged texts and questioned what Meghan may be experiencing. Harry must be nuts to have selected her. One of them reasoned, as per the book. Some royal family sources earlier claimed that, days before Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's wedding, Harry's friends also thought marrying Meghan would be a bad idea. So what do you think, guys? Please share your thoughts in the comments. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more interesting news about royal family. Thank you.